Hey guys, welcome to the Gray State. It's a little bit rainy out today, but that's not gonna stop us today. Uh, for those of you guys who have seen my channel before, you guys know that I do a lot of loose unboxings of uh, relatively new firearms that come out. This one's not so new, and it is it is a pistol, but obviously it's in a rifle case, so you guys know where this is going, especially if you found the title of this thing and I keyworded it appropriately, you know exactly what you're looking at. For those of you guys that subscribe, you guys have been asking for this for a long time. So yeah, it's a Daniel Defense Mark 18. Um, you guys weren't specifically asking for that, but what you were asking for was uh, an SBR. Uh, barrel lengths for a lot of the testing that I do. And so I was able to pick one up. Uh, of course, there are different offerings out there. And for me, the Mark 18 is one of those. It stays true to the purpose of this channel where you can go and buy stuff off the shelf and just take it directly to range and apply it. And we get the data from that. So that's why I went with a known platform plus the Mark 18 super iconic. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the Mark 18 today because there is a lot out there. Grand Thumb has done a lot of really good content out there. If you haven't checked him out, go check him out. No sense in reinventing the wheel when somebody's already done a great job. We should just use their content um, and continue to build a community with good content that's out there. Um, secondly, personally for me, I didn't go with an SBR. I went with a pistol because I live in a tri-state area. It allows me to not have to fill out ATF forms if I want to go back and forth across state lines. And then also depending on your municipality and your own level of um, involvement, if you're a concealed carrier, you can actually conceal carry this in your truck loaded. Um, be sure to check your local laws on that um, because it varies by state and I don't want to get give any bad legal advice or anything like that. You know, So be sure to check that out, know what you're getting into, do the research yourself on that. So that's the reason I went with the pistol. Um, also, it allows me not to have to worry about the ATS stamp and I can get out here and get a lot quicker and start doing those rounds. So so the game plan for today, I'm going to show you what's in the case. I brought a ton of ammo out and we're just going to do a lot of shooting like all the other loose unboxings. I'll tell you what round I'm firing. If I find any failures at all, I'll be sure to let you know. At the end of the day, I'll do a quick recap. And then um, that's basically the game plan. Enough of this. Let's take a look in the box and let's just get shooting. All right, guys, so let's get to business. First thing, uh, Daniel Defense, for those of you who have never purchased a Daniel Defense before and you're thinking of the Mark 18, either the SBR version or the pistol. They give you a nice little plastic case. It's not like a Pelican or anything like that, but it, it's better than what a lot of manufacturers will give you. You kind of expect that with a premium rifle experience, but you open it up and surprise, there's no <laughs> there's no firearm in here. And that's, that's because guys, honestly, uh, before we came out, I did a couple things to it. Have not fired a shot in it yet, but I do want to cover off. Um, I put an Aimpoint Pro up here up top. Have not zeroed it or anything like that, so I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, we got to take care of that business here. Uh, secondly, is I did put a angled foregrip up here. So it's one of those things, obviously, with you not registering a pistol with the ATF uh, because of the length being under 26 inches, uh, you're not technically allowed to put a full vertical foregrip up there. So you can put a like something like a BCM CAG or something like that. I have the Magpul angled foregrip right now just to try it out. I might like it, might not. I don't know what's going on. So one other thing that you do get from Daniel Defense on the rifle itself when you unbox it, it does have the, uh, the I guess, like silicone type-esque covers that go over the pick rail. They're, they're designed to make sure that you don't get your hands burnt once the barrel starts heating up. I took them off right now. I don't know what the final configuration of this particular firearm is going to be. So I don't know how far I'm Gucci I'm going to go with it to use or put some Gucci on that kind of stuff on it. But for right now, I took it off, just took it down to basics and uh, we'll figure it out. I'll figure out what I like personally and then we'll go from there. Uh, other thing I did do, I tore down, um, it does come with a mil spec trigger. I try to go a little bit more clone collect than a Mark 18. I had an SSA E sitting around, so I threw that trigger in from Geisley. Uh, but other than that, this is how it would come out minus the Aimpoint Pro. This obviously is the Law Tactical folding version as well. I did want to get the Law Tactical version. The folder lets me put it nicely into a backpack if I so choose. Um, and uh, yeah, we're free and clear. I should have showed you that. But anyways, that's the, uh, the pistol itself. The case, since we're doing an unboxing here, it came in a plastic bag. Uh, you get the inspection tag, you get a price tag. Um, we're not gonna go into that. We're gonna keep that off of here. I don't wanna talk about, I don't like talking about pricing. It tends to be a sensitive subject with YouTube. So we're just gonna leave that out of here. This is an unboxing review of this firearm. Chamber flag. Daniel Defense and the price of this firearm does give you a 32 round mag. Um, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the Daniel Defense mags. I don't know why they just never really gelled with me. They're a little bit longer. Uh, to get that 32 in there, I don't really understand why we have to have 32 as opposed to the normal 30. I'm just a very 
linear even kind of guy. I like big numbers and 30 is a nice even number for me to work with when I'm thinking about round count. And as I'm counting out my, my memory, just I count 30 rounds out as I'm firing and 32 just kind of throws a huge monkey wrench into that for me. I don't know, maybe you guys are a little bit different. So anyways, this will probably stay in the box. I appreciate the thought though. And then uh, the manual, uh, what's this? The NRA. A couple Daniel Defense stickers, a lock, because everyone needs a lock. And then, oh, it's a uh, some documentation regarding the law folding brace or the, uh, the folding stock. So, okay guys, that covers off on what we're doing here as far as the unboxing stuff. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it down range. And um, before we do that, I just did wanna cover off on a couple of things. I'm gonna try and keep the talking to a minimum here and just get right to shooting. But this is, I do wanna tee this up because it's kind of important before it starts raining here too. As for those of you who follow my channel, you, you've you probably seen I do do some in-depth ballistics testing and I, I, I like testing rounds and coming back with data. And that's really why I went with the Mark 18. It's a nice off-the-shelf platform. I can also um, readily get it in the pistol form, not having to wait for the ATF papers to clear. And you guys, honestly, the comments, when I tested those Hornady personal defense rounds, people were asking, what will this round do out of a 10 inch SBR or equivalent? And this lets us test that. And so I'm gonna come back out here in the near future. And uh, to that point, all the rounds today, I'm gonna be testing, I'll put them back up here on screen. It's a mix of a lot of military stuff. It's 193, 855, 262 clones. Um, also some steel case toolie because why not? Um, and then just some other stuff, some hunting rounds, some varmint rounds, stuff like that. But the whole idea there is I did not bring out any personal defense rounds. I wanna hold those back and I wanna do the right thing and do the due diligence and test those, put them through the 10% FBL gel blocks and do them up again and kind of revisit those rounds and kind of create a series out of it. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's not what we're doing today, but I figured what the heck, let's go wrong for the ride for the rest of the stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that and stay tuned for a personal defense rifle round shootout with frangible stuff. And uh, I found some crazy stuff locally too that we'll be putting the test through on that. So if you haven't done it already, subscribe and you want to see those kinds of tests through a 10.3 inch barrel, they're coming. So, all right, let's get shooting. All right, guys, uh, I've loaded up 30 rounds of uh, good old tried and true American Eagle XM 193 uh, 556 stuff. So that's what we're rolling with first. Here we go, 30 rounds. Now, reminder, I have not zeroed this thing, so. Well, that was gassy. Thirty rounds. There we go. Next up, just gonna be a regular old eight fifty five. This is from Federal, so it's the retail box stuff. All right, it's gonna be another thirty rounds. I'm not gonna be hitting the steel this time, obviously, with it. All right, there we go. Man, this thing shoots flat. I lock it. I lock it the law. They're up my 30. Look at that barrel smoking. That's what I love about shooting in the rain. Isn't that cool? Wow. Uh, it's a good Friday, isn't it? All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, next soldiers up are gonna be some steel case Thule 223, 55 grain. All right, I'm gonna do two mags worth of this, right? Because we can. It's cheap. All right. All right, make sure I'm in good camera spot. Here we go. This is gonna be 60 rounds of Thule. Man, this thing shoots so flat.
I'm not going to joke with this. I should not be stupid. Again, 60 rounds of tool, he went right through it. Man, I just love how flat this thing shoots. It really is incredible. You'd think with that 10.3 inch barrel, you'd have a little bit, but no. It's kind of video game ish, and I hate to say that. All right. Okay, mi amigos, next up is going to be Aguilas 62 grain 556. Five, you see what I did there, Aguila, mi amigos? I'm a, I know, dad joke. All right, not getting too warm yet. Uh, we'll see how that fares here, but it's gonna be another 30 rounds. All right, the Aguila 62 grain, 5.56. Five, No issues. I was actually kind of surprised to see no issues out of the Aguila. Uh, that is one round that I've actually had problems with primers blowing out on me. Um, so anytime I pick up a box of that stuff, I always go back to that first time. You know how that happens. You buy one round and forever you're like, that's the round that had that massive squib and it blew up and all that kind of stuff. And that's always the round for me. All right, next we're gonna stick with 556. Five, this is gonna be the Winchester 55 grain, non-NATO, the value pack stuff that I have a video up, um, kind of ran through a whole box of it, just trying to see if it's actually a viable surplus round, even though it doesn't have the NATO stamp. So that's what's next. The fun continues, 30 rounds. <laughs> No issues. Yeah, it looks pretty, doesn't it? I keep showing shots of the barrel smoking, but <sighs> so pretty. All right. That was another 60 down between those two mags. What should we do next? Okay, guys, next up is going to be Hornady 62 grain 223 Remington. It's a MSR round. I know a lot of people really like it. I personally like the 62 grain uh, loads myself. I just like the way they shoot especially out of most of my barrels. So um, we're just gonna rip off 60 of these here real quick. Rain's starting to pick up. So if it ain't raining, it ain't training, but it's making for a fun day. All right, here we go. 60 rounds of the Hornady Black. Ta-da. Okay guys, so next up I've got a 30 round mag loaded up and uh, we're gonna look at some heavier match grade stuff. So because of the cost and uh, you know, the, the reality is we're not gonna go out just blasting this stuff like you would, you know, just regular old 55 grain or 62 grain stuff. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit more judicious with the use of it. So I've got 10 rounds of three different match grade rounds. So the first one's gonna be 68 grain, Black Hills remanufactured. Second 10 is gonna be Black Hills 77 grain, basically the Mark 262s and 223. And then the third 10 rounds are going to be Sig Sauer's Open Tip Match Elite 77 grain, also kind of like a 262 clone. So 
Those are gonna be the three rounds that are gonna go through here. I will put them up on screen with some text so you guys know which ones are firing in case you couldn't remember what I just told you. So I'm not gonna be super fast firing, but I do wanna see how they cycle in this configuration on this platform. So that's the game plan. All right, here we go. 30 rounds, match grade. All right, so that was the Black Hill 68 grain. Now we're going to the Black Hill 77. And that was SIG. They all fired just fine. That was like 30 some dollars real quick. All right, let's find something else to shoot. All right, guys, all ready for this twister. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a three by round, 10 rounds each in this 30 round mag. And on this one, get ready to keep track of this because it's weird. Okay, so first up, <laughs> the first 10 are gonna be Atomic 77 grain, 223 Remington, tactical law enforcement. It's basically a tipped match king in 77 grain. Got 10 rounds of those. And then I'm gonna do 10 rounds of Fusion's 62 grain. That's from Federal. It's a hunting round for varminting, coyote hitting, stuff like that. And then finally, it's gonna be 55 grains of 223 PPU boat tail standard ball. Those are your 10. All right, here we go. It's a hodgepodge, never a dull moment here. It's like, I don't know. I can't come up with anything good. All right, here we go, <laughs> 30 rounds. All right, so that was 10 of the Atomic 77 grain. Now we're moving on to the Fusion 62. I'll put it on the screen for you. Help us keep track. And now I'm just gonna rip through these 10 rounds of the PPU 55 grain. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, guys, that's the uh, end of the shooting for today. We put a few hundred rounds down the pipe of this thing and absolutely no issues, not a single failure whatsoever. And uh, it seems to happen a lot to me. I don't know. You guys are gonna think something's up, but no, it's not. You guys saw all the rounds and everything like that just flying right down. All right, so my thoughts on it. It's awesome. I love it. Um, no failures, you know. Uh, it's everything that I hoped it to be, and I'm kicking myself for not picking one up earlier, but now I'll be able to take a look at those PD rounds, uh, those frangible stuff and whatnot, and put it in some ballistic gel and do some SBR length testing for everyone. So, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, a few hundred rounds down today. Absolutely no issues. Love it. Flat shooter. Um, you know, configuration might change. I don't know. The foregrip was okay at that length. Aimpoint Pro, I might end up putting an EOTech on it. I don't know. Make it a little bit more... Uh, you know, uh, battle ready kind of a thing. But for the most part, for those of you guys thinking about it for a home defense weapon, that's gonna be the next goal is taking a look at some of those frangible personal defense rounds in a rifle platform um, from a cartridge perspective. So that allows me to do that. So um, the other thing that allows me to do it is likes and subscribes. That was a nice little segue right there, right? So if you guys subscribe, you like it and you wanna see what comes out um, future using this platform as a home defense capable um, firearm, uh, maybe compared to a nine millimeter. I don't know the the potential is endless on us and where we could go with it. So I'd like your thoughts on that too. I'm pretty receptive in the comment fields. If you guys have any ideas now, I could put this up against the SIG MPX, that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll just go from there and we'll have fun with it. So, so that is it for today. If you like this, you found it informative, loosely entertaining, whatever, I'd appreciate a like or subscribe. It does help out just a little bit since I'm completely self-funded and I'm a one man show. And uh, I promise I won't chew any more gum on any videos. And, uh, what was up with that? I mean, it was, I had a sore throat. I needed to chew some gum. So promise, no more gum on videos. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So until next time, stay safe.